Starting an e-commerce business comes with lots of different risks to help balance out all the huge rewards that you can earn. And just like anyone, I am also human and I make mistakes. And today I'm gonna to share with you one of the products that I launched in the past that unfortunately didn't do too well and ended up losing me over $10,000. So I'm gonna go through and break down all the things that I did wrong that led to it failing so that you can progress forward and not make the same mistakes. So this is the product here and I was selling this on Amazon Australia and what it is, is it's a baby sleeping bag. Something that you put a baby in when they're starting to roll over so that it still keeps them warm, but it keeps them safe and you sort of go from swaddles into baby sleeping bags. And there's a couple different products there that go along with it. So this is what it looks like outside of the box. And I'm sure that those of you who are parents can sort of already start to tell one of the things that were wrong with it. And these are all the different prototypes because we had to develop it properly get testing done at a facility to make sure the material wasn't gonna burn. So we went through lots of different types to make sure that we got an actual product that worked really well. And of course I did extensive product research and all of the numbers behind it lined up. There were several competitors there who were doing between $15,000 to $50,000 each month with nearly no reviews. So I thought I could come in there with my own design and I went in and I combined the best features from the ones that were selling in the American market and a couple of the Australian and I created this ultimate baby sleeping bag that was much safer, much softer, much better quality. And it had a fantastic zip feature that made it way easier to be used. So it was a better product on nearly all grounds. And looking at all those points on paper made it look like it was an absolute home run golden opportunity. Now, one of the first downsides and something that I failed to fully recognize was the presence and the pull of one major brand in the space. Now, there was one major brand called Ergo Pouch who are quite popular in retail stores across Australia. Okay, it's a well-known brand. And although they were doing horribly on Amazon in the way that, you know, they had one or two photos next to no keywords or anything, but they were still making a heap of money on there because they're considered the Nike of the baby sleeping bag market, right? So people would buy it no matter what, just to be shown that they had this product and it was on their baby and they got that cool feeling from having the brand. Now I knew this and I still decided that I wanted to go ahead because I wanted to take on a big brand as I knew that you can innovate and create a product that's better and then outperform them on a platform like Amazon, it's totally possible, but I went about it the wrong way. So like I mentioned, I took all the best features from the US market and brought them across and then developed it myself with the product designer to make it the, ultimately the best baby sleeping bag that there was on the functional side, right? It was softer, it was safer, it worked better than all the others, but what you've already seen and looking at it, and I know that you're gonna laugh and you've probably already laughed and I laugh at it now, but at the time, I didn't figure it out, but of course is the pattern that is on it. Okay, we went with an Australian Outback design, which very, like some people were like, yeah, I absolutely love it. But the majority of people saw it and were like, ah, oh, it's not that cute. Now where I made the mistake was I did ask a couple people what they thought of the design, but I didn't test it on a big enough scale with my customer avatar compared to the ones that were already winning. So in this case, the Ergo Pouch sleeping bag. So what I should have done is something like a PicFu and had the photos of the three other top competitors and my one there, because then I can select, you know, I want mums and it's their first baby and they're this age, which one are they gonna pick? And I could have directly seen were people gonna buy it before I invested that money into all the stock and the branding and the images. Now, of course, I also learned here that it is risky to go into a niche where a big differential factor is something like a pattern, right? Because that comes down to the customer's personal preference. Someone might see this and we did sell units and they probably bought it because they loved an Australian design, right? But a lot of people didn't buy it because maybe they preferred a more modern or a more sleek or anything like that, right? Which is hard to differentiate and cater for unless you have a heap of different variations. So you're kind of relying on your ability to pick a design that you think the most amount of people will pick. Because remember, we had a utility uh, features that made the product better. Our packaging was fantastic. The images were great. The branding was all really, really good. But it all came down to that one feature was 
what do people prefer when they're looking at it and of course everyone is different so obviously now when I look at it I can laugh and it's embarrassing I'm like how did I pick that design and it's something that I can share but it all comes down to that little thing right because I did all those big sections right and I talk about this in my videos and in my course and the free course and you know I say to you guys that there's these little things in there that you should do and I know it's very easy to be like oh I'm not gonna do that pick for you. I don't want to spend that money on it I just want to get on and I want to get selling but the reason I say it is because I have done that exactly what you're thinking and it leads to losing over $10,000 on the stock. Okay, so I'm trying to impair this wisdom to give you the lesson so that you can be better than me and have that knowledge without the scar.